Matthew Hart, Reagan Hassler, and Matthew Sprouse will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, I want to welcome everybody for coming tonight. This is our first ever recorder concert. I've been, well I've been a teacher for a long time. I taught fifth and third grade for a long time and I've been a music teacher for 13 years and this is the first time I've ever tried this. So hopefully it will be successful. I was a little nervous until we had rehearsals this week and it was absolutely beautiful. You know every, every time you mention a recorder people are like <laughs> and I know you parents, because some of you parents have told me, I locked them out of the house because they were playing that recorder. You know, I know. I know what you do. But anyway, so we have gotten to the point, though, that um, we have become very good at what we do. So we're going to share that with you tonight. Um, we have been doing a program called Recorder Karate. And as you know, um, earning the belts has become a a big deal and so about January when we started really getting to concert mode I told the boys and girls I said now we probably won't have any black belts by the time the concert comes and that's okay because our school year runs till June so by June we will have several and so that struck a chord with two little girls in this group tonight and they um, threw the gauntlet down and they have reach that goal. So we will go all the way to the black belt tonight in our recorder concert. So we're very proud of them. The rest of them can um, have till June to do that. So that's your challenge. Um, tonight there is an award of a silver belt. The silver belt is for our grand finale song which is the Jitterbag song. So there are um, requirement was to be here for the concert and to have their song labeled correctly. So, half of that's done. Now I'll just have to check their song and make sure they labeled everything correctly. And they will earn the silver belt for that. And then, after our concert, we will concentrate, concentrate on the gold belt. Um, that's the hardest belt to earn. Um, that is for playing the middle C. That's the lowest note on the recorder. Um, and it's a, it's a hard note to play. And sometimes kids that come in one week and they play it perfectly, and then they come in the next week and they can't find that good note anywhere. And so um, normally they have to be able to play it two or three weeks in a row before they earn that belt. Make sure it's good and strong. Good, strong middle C. All right. Um, I do want to recognize Miss Prieto's class. Would you raise your hand? Because they're kind of scattered. Oh, they're all over here. Okay. Oh, here's Ms. Creative. Their class, I want to recognize them because they were the first class in fourth grade for everybody in the class to earn their white and their yellow belts. So we're really proud of them for doing that. All right. So if my boys and girls, if you would go ahead and get your recorders in rest, position. We've been learning our different positions. Um, anytime we are not playing, we are in rest position. So hopefully they will know where to go with that. And our very first song, the song I know all you parents love dearly, is Hot Cross Guns. Um, and this song is the pinnacle of all the learning because they have to learn where the notes live on the staff, they have to learn their note names, they have to learn what kind of notes they are, quarter note, half note, quarter rest, half rest, all that kind of good stuff. Um, they have to know what their time signature is. So this is where the bulk of the learning starts, is with hot cross bones. Uh, so we are gonna play the white belt song for you now.
So I know to all of you that sounds really easy, but it was not really easy to learn that. So that was really good. And staying in tempo, staying with the beat is a really hard thing to do. And when there's a hundred of them, that's even harder. So I'm very pleased. That was excellent. Great. All right. Our next song is the Yellow Belt song, Gently Sleep. Um, this one, we still have G, A, and B. Those are our main notes, just like Hot Cross and Bun, Hot Cross Buns. The only thing about this song is there were no rest. So there was nowhere for them to breathe. So they had to learn how to read their breath marks and only breathe in those places. So that gave a little challenge for them um, on trying to figure out how much lung capacity they have. Their breathing before. So this was a new thing for them to actually think about breathing. It's something we just do in our sleep, isn't it? Yeah. So our next song, this is our Orange Belt song, um, and this one kind of brings up a, a roadblock because this one is the first song that they have to label by themselves. Miss Graham labeled with them the first two songs, and we spent a lot of time um, explaining why and how and where these notes live and all that kind of stuff. And so this is the first song they had to kind of learn on their own. Um, and so this is Merrily We Roll Along. struggling with the Green Belt song too at home. <laughs> this song, um, this is kind of the hurdle. Once they can get over the Green Belt song, it's kind of, you know, the songs are hard at the end, but it's smooth sailing, it feels like. So this is kind of their hurdle song. So I have a lot of kids right now trying to earn this Green Belt. Um, for this song, we have a new note, which is an E, by the way. Um, and so they are learning to add another note into their repertoire of music. Um, and we have some eighth notes. Those are those notes that are tied together with that little bar. And so they're really quick, really quick notes. So that's another reason this is their hurdle song. So this is It's Raining.
So we're learning with that green belt song. There's lots of need for practice and lots of need for perseverance in that song. There's, we have a lot still working on that one. That's not what I want. All right, so um, if you have the next song, you can go on up. Our next song is Old MacDonald Had a Farm. Seems like a simple little song, doesn't it? Old MacDonald Had a Farm, we all sang that when we were two, probably. Um, this song also adds in a new note, so that's an extra challenge for them, and this song is longer. Um, and there's no, well, there's a few rests, but not many, so they've got to figure out where to breathe and carry their notes over. So this is the Purple Belt, and I do have a few in here that are working on that Purple Belt right now, so that's their next goal. And here we go, everybody ready? Old McDonald. Graham anymore, and they just go on their own. <laughs> All right, our next song, this is the Blue Belt, is that right? The Blue Belt? The Blue Belt song. This is When the Saints Go Marching In. Um, this song actually adds two new notes, not just one like the other songs. We have two brand new notes, um, and their fingers are switching back and forth, and in this one, they, all, they have to actually take their thumb off the back hole. So that means they've got to now learn how to hold on to the recorder without their thumb holding on to that recorder. So that's a little trick. Um, uh, this one has longer notes that they have to hold out. So it's a beautiful arrangement too. I hope you'll enjoy it. We have another new another new note, and in this song they're moving their fingers on this new note really differently. Um, so this one takes a little practice and it's sharp for all of you that are music people out there. So this one was a little more difficult.
And then there were two. And these are the two that took on the challenge. And they came to me every week ready to play that new song. It was quite amazing. Um, so this song, this is the Brown Belt. So this is Amazing Grace. This one is a different because it's got a different time signature. So all the songs we've done are counted in four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now we have in the mix a song with three beats in the measure. One, two, three. One, two, three. So it's got a whole different feel to it. Um, and there's a little bit of syncopated rhythm in it, um, which gives it a cool sound. So this is Amazing Grace. throughout the whole book, no rest, so they have to figure out where to breathe in this song. And to top it off, it's written by a famous composer, Mr. Beethoven. So this is a pretty cool song for them to learn how to play. So if you would give them a big round of applause. this song no matter what belt you're on and I think they all love it I love it I love to hear it this is in the big band style so that's Miss Graves favorite style of music um, and so yesterday this is one of those songs I was really kind of worried about and um, we came in here yesterday and I said just for the heck of it let's just let you play it without Miss Graham helping you and just see what happens because in class I'm always pointing you know trying to keep them where they are. So the first time through, they played it perfectly. 
they didn't need me at all. So um, I'm going to just be up there for them just to kind of give them some guides, but pretty much they're on their own. Thank <laughs> you. 